bad news. Data breaches are on the rise and your email may be in the hands of hackers. The good news is that you can check if your email account details have been compromised and make changes so you won't become a victim. Head over to haveibeenpwned.com. This website keeps a log of all known data breaches and consolidates the data in one place. It was created by Troy Hunt, a well-respected web security guy who used to work for Microsoft. You can search the database for free to see if your email account has been leaked and from which website. Simply type in your email address and hit enter. You should check all your email addresses one by one. If it says oh no, you can scroll down and see which breach your email address was included in. Next to compromised data, you can see the data that was exposed. If it says email addresses and passwords, you'll need to change your password for that web service as soon as possible. If you reuse passwords, you'll need to change your password in every instance where that password is used. Once your email address is leaked, you may start to receive phishing emails containing viruses. These emails could pretend to be from the website that was breached, fooling you into revealing further information so they can commit identity fraud and clean out your bank account. It sounds extreme, but it does happen. Anyway, here are three ways to protect yourself. Tip 1. Change your passwords regularly and never use the same password on every website. Also make them super strong. Tip 2. Turn on two-factor authentication on every site. You can use Google Authenticator or Authy. This way hackers will need your physical device as well as your username and password. Tip 3. Use a password manager like LastPass, OnePassword or Bitwarden. These help you create unique, randomly generated passwords for every online account you have and it stores them securely so you don't need to remember them. These can take a while to set up, but you can start with your most important accounts first. I suggest starting with your online banking, then your email account, social media sites, shopping websites, etc. and then add in the rest as you log into them. If you are skeptical about password managers like I was, then head over to Troy Hunt's website and read his article titled Password Managers Don't Have to Be Perfect, They Just Have to Be Better Than Not Having One. You can also read the blog post on the National Cyber Security Centre where they break down why you should use a password manager. If you are also sceptical about using Have I Been Pwned to enter your email address and password, you can try another similar service from Mozilla called Firefox Monitor. It does the same thing. Head over to monitor.firefox.com and type in your email to get the details. For both of these sites, you can sign up for alerts to get notified if your email appears in a new breach. Firefox Monitor does require you to sign up for a Firefox account, however. If you take one thing from this video, it's to use a password manager. On that note, you can also check to see if your password has been leaked in a data breach. If it has, then it's no longer suitable for use because it will be on a list used by hackers to try against known emails. If I type in the word password, you can see it has been used over 3 million times and should never be used. If I type in a long random password that I just made up, you can see it's not found in any breaches. However, as they say, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a good password, merely that it's not indexed on the site. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any further useful information to add, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Here's a summary. If you need links to the websites I've mentioned, just Google them. I'm not being paid by any of these websites mentioned. Merely they're just good services and good security that you should use.